thank you so much for that introduction. You know, at least I have a few friends over here, including Christian Meyer and Raghu Mendu, who probably are going to record this and go home and tell my wife because she still is not going to believe any of this. <laughs> thank you. You know, <laughs> and by the way, it was not HIPAA violation because uh, that was said in a concert with much more people. But I actually have a story about Schwarzer Cardiotech and how they got into our lives, and it completely happened because of the next, you know. Uh, the gentleman you're going to hear after me, Professor Brugada, because um, over the years, and I can talk about many, many instances when we've done charity work around the world, and I was supremely impressed that you know there was this laptop-based EP system that worked in some of the most dire situations. You, you go to labs in the world where almost you look around the world where people don't have enough, and then you saw that the system worked. And of course, I knew its history because of the fact that it came from dear friends of ours here in Maastricht, where my mentor trained. And I was actually supposed to have come here to train in electrophysiology. And I actually have a much stronger link with Heel Janssen and the group in Netherlands. They come to my lab uh, every year, you know, for the past several years. So we publish. So all the, the research side of what Dr. Wellens does is kind of now being done in strong collaboration with UCLA. And I kind of knew the origins of the system. And completely by chance, and since we were looking for a uh, system to use clinically for charity work, I actually called this company. And you were in your older office at that time. And I always keep telling you, you have to give your assistant a special bonus because she was phenomenal. She picked up the phone. And I said, I introduced myself because my assistant had left that day. And she took down and she said, don't worry, I'll actually get this to the CEO and they'll call you. And when he called, all I did was, I want you to send a system right now. And we're just buying this from you. And perhaps, I hope you would think that that was the shortest sale you ever made. <laughs> that you didn't have to, it, it didn't take that long because we actually took donor money. We didn't actually ask the hospital. And I'm very fond of that system because it taught me two things. One is we actually had our own system, independent of anyone else in the world, to do charity work. And it's one of the very best recording systems. And the second aspect of this was being the scientific group we are, it opened up doors for innovation. And in the next few slides, some of this is, of course, to give you a background because we have a very diverse group over here. And a dear friend of mine, Christian Meyer, is here. He knows our group. He has visited with us. And, and Christian has been on that helipad, right? So he knows <laughs> this. So this is the mission statement of the UCLA Cardiac Arrhythmia Center. It's to generate new knowledge in the field of cardiac electrophysiology and cardiovascular therapeutics. The center brings together a group of individuals who strive to shape the future of EP and leave a lasting impact for the therapies of heart and other organs. So if you look at the people and all the photos over here, we have physician scientists, we have clinicians, we have pure scientists. Uh, we are the institution that's now hosting the journal uh, uh, Jack uh, Clinical Electrophysiology for this term. And within the group, we actually have pure scientists who actually work on neuroscience. And uh, you'll see why that term becomes important as we go along. Our mission in all what we do uh, is patient care, teaching, research, biomed innovation, and social engagement. And in the end, we do only one thing. We take care of patients. And when people ask me, what do you do for a living? I said, well, you know, people trust us with their lives when they come to us as patients. But they also trust us with something they value more than their lives. And that is their children. You know? So we have students. You know? So we actually have the most valuable resources in the world, which is human talent. And it's impressive that you say in a company, it's the same thing. It's your employees and the people you have. So how do we go about doing this? First is patient care. You, each one of us can take care of thousands of patients. Uh, our own background, where we come from Los Angeles, is a huge metropolitan area. These are the hospitals we work from. We take care of everyone. We take care of everyone from homeless to world leaders and also rock stars. But what matters to us is it, it's, we don't really care what a person's wallet biopsy is. The only thing that matters is to help as many people as we can. And of course, uh, we have, of course, international referrals, but also to go to places where people don't have the resources to be able to help. So you can do that two ways. One is by teaching. 
And if you look at our group, much like many other groups, and Professor Brugada here has trained so many people around the world, anyone you teach, they go on to help thousands. In doing so, a teacher can have a larger impact. So this is another major lesson that we have learned, and the, this is the 20th anniversary of the Cardiac Arrhythmia Center, much like the, your own company's uh, uh, size, I would say, in terms of the time it's been around. So this is again another area where we've become very big fans. And why do I say about education? Because this company's DNA started off by actual service. It was not meant to actually initially make a commercial case. And in fact, they didn't even have the marketing, uh, you know, a heft to be just creating a huge market. But they started off at a very interesting place, which is where we start off. So in terms of education, you'll see this. We now believe that open access education is very important. So one of this is the first of what is going to be several volumes of books. And right now, you can download this huge digital book. So we are making education available. So we're democratizing education. And the other aspect of our work, of course, is research. The purpose of research is to help millions of people. And to do that, you really have to make sure that your research Sometimes it may not be translatable, but it builds on knowledge that others can use. And for research to work, especially in areas in medicine such as ours, you really need very high quality technology. And it turns out, perhaps I could say that in a very uh, joyful way, we were able to take what came out of a great university here in this country, and we were able to sort of take it to the next level for doing science. And our own research, which of course we have a global consortium for doing the highest end mapping, we actually map neurons. So mapping the heart is just one tiny line item of what we do. But we realized looking at the small company, the magic that you could do with it. And that opened up an entire sort of an ecosystem for us where we do everything from molecules to in silico, what you see in that picture. But what matters is when a patient's in front of you, irrespective of where in the world, how can you make technology work? And sort of that's the angle where we took uh, a, a system like yours, and we were able to actually get the scientific data out of this. And people actually laughed at me. They said, oh, why are you not getting some of the big systems, you know, the big, expensive, rich systems, the famous big companies? But we actually thought we should give and work with some of the brightest people here in your company because that exactly fits in with biomed innovation. We think biomed innovation is the only way you can help millions of people. Uh, because science has to become patents. Patents for a university actually has to become products. And that's what gives you competitive advantage. And um, Frank just mentioned Neucures, very German. We termed it uh, Neuroscience Cures. And of course, Neu stands also for Neuron. And Neu is new in German which was my second language in school, so it worked out very well. And, uh, and I love it. I didn't realize we were just 500 meters from the German border, which is great. Um, so when you look at how we look at, uh, you know, sort of biomed innovation, uh, we look at the human body. You have to access. Then you have to map or image, try to understand what's happening. And then you have to do something to treat. It doesn't matter what disease that you deal with humans. You have to get there. You have to understand what's happening and then do something about it. So in that context, uh, Schwarzer Cardiotech became a very important partner for us because we built a completely futuristic platform that completely beats every mapping system in the world right now by using this small, the little engine that could. That is, that is your company. And we are so proud of your engineers and the fact that they opened up their entire system for what is true unprecedented collaboration. And of course, I'll be remiss if I don't finish my conversation with where this company started off and where our heart is. And that is, you have to have a global outlook. And again, I'd like to do a special call out to my dear friend, Professor Christian Meyer from Dusseldorf, uh, who's also an associate editor of our journal, Jack E.P. And we look at the world, and really, the future should be about how much we can do in every aspect, patient care, teaching, research, biomed innovation, and social engagement. And I think I'll leave you with one last thought, that is we need to create a global link. And I really salute your company for having provided the technology. You know, People like Professor Brugada, who go all over the world to do 
charity cases. I find that inspiring. So uh, a, a lady who was given the highest civilian award in my country of birth, Mother Teresa, would be very proud of you, Professor. That is, a life not lived for others is not a life. So I'll stop here, hand it over to your team. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.